Welcome back everyone, today we are going to test how flammable ether really is. For this we are using this really dirty ether and two sources of ignition. We began by putting a candle holder full of diethyl ether above the two candles but this fails. Afterwards some cloth was soaked in ether and put above it but this also failed until I pushed it down. You can see how flammable ether really is because it instantly self ignited. Next we are going to try it in a more confined space. The ether was put onto the ground and it lit up pretty quickly. Everything was repeated in slow motion and this time the ether was put a little further away. Anyways, it turned out not to work and I put in some more ether which ended up getting too close. Of course this ended in an ignition, but because this is cheating I am going to repeat it. Again, ether close to the candles, this time a little closer but without splashing. The high flammability and the extreme density of the ether vapors makes this solvent extremely dangerous. Because the flame can travel a long distance even if the ignition source is really far away. Because all of this was so fun, let's repeat it another time. This time the ether is more spread out and the space is less confined. If you look closely you can see the line of ether quickly disappearing. Ether has a high vapor pressure which means that it will disappear rather quickly. Stay here because the flame is not about to go out but something way more interesting is going to happen. Look closely at the back flame. At first it looks normal and afterwards, oh damn, this is a really nice fire tornado. I didn't expect this and it looked amazing in real life. The fire tornado was however short lived and lasted only for about 4 or 5 seconds. Here it is again in real time, yeah about 4 or 5 seconds, maybe 6. There's still a lot of ether left so let's try it one last time. A bigger line of ether, even more spread out and let's wait. With an ether line this big it's not going to take long until it ignites. This was something I didn't plan to film in the first place, but if you liked it, make sure to like and if you don't want to miss out on further chemistry content and not just burning stuff, make sure to subscribe. I wish all of you a nice day, until next time.